How many times have you been around the sun? You celebrate it every year. Hurtling through space at over 1,600 kilometers an hour, it still takes 365 days to orbit the sun. But maybe a better question isn't how many, but why? Why do you orbit the sun? What's stopping you from crashing into the sun in a fiery explosion or flying out into space? I've got a tennis ball and an old stocking. I'm gonna put the tennis ball inside the stocking and I want you to imagine, it kind of is stretchy, but I want you to imagine that this is a piece of elastic and it's stretching towards me, right? If I'm to swing the tennis ball over my head like this, and I'm stretching that elastic, what is it that's stopping the tennis ball from flying towards me, from, from that elastic working? And what's it that's stopping that tennis ball from flying out to space? This elastic is a little bit like gravity and the tennis ball is like the Earth. Momentum keeps the Earth from flying into the sun and gravity keeps the Earth from flying out into space. Hey Grade Fives! Today I'm filming from my garage and you might wonder why. In front of me you can see I've got a great big piece of stretchy black fabric. It's stretched over some old irrigation pipe that I had in my garden. For today's demonstration, I want you to imagine that this black stretchy fabric represents gravity. Um, in that gravity, we might have objects of different masses. So I've got some marbles which represent objects of a small mass. And you can see as that marble um, wanders through gravity, it doesn't make a very big dent. It doesn't bend gravity much at all. But if I have something heavier, like my sun, this tape measure, it bends gravity. And because it bends gravity, it causes other things to orbit around it. So as these marbles come past the sun, they start to orbit it and they go around. You might notice that they go faster as they get closer and they slow down as they get further away. That was a good one. Of course, in space, there's far less friction. These marbles are slowing down really quickly because of friction and they're crashing into the sun. If there was no friction, if there was only that gravity keeping them there, um, they could continue to orbit that forever. Of course, I can change this up and I'm gonna change it for something heavier. This tin of paint, which bends gravity a lot more and it's gonna cause the orbits to speed up, particularly as they get close. If you've ever been running really fast and have tried to stop quickly, your body's experienced something called momentum. Momentum just means that an object with mass traveling with speed wants to keep going. For the same reason, it takes a train which has high mass and can travel really fast a long time to slow down. So the bigger the mass and the bigger the speed, the, the higher the momentum of that object. Now you can imagine an object like our planet, which is both really heavy and has a lot of mass and traveling at a very high speed through space has a lot of momentum, right? The momentum of the Earth wants to pull the Earth in a straight line into outer space to escape the solar system and get away from the sun. Fortunately for us, the sun has also got a lot of mass and with a lot of mass comes a very strong gravitational pull. Gravity is pulling the Earth towards the sun and kind of works both ways. And if we take the force of momentum and add it to the force of gravity and we put those together, um, we get a force which is somewhere in between, right? And that force which is somewhere in between kind of means that the Earth always travels in a perpendicular, which is 90 degree direction to the sun, which means as it tracks around the sun, it forms 
close to a circular orbit. There's very little friction in space to slow Earth down. But if there was, if the Earth slowed down too much, then the power of gravity would overcome the power of momentum, right? And Earth would start to get closer and closer to the Sun, it would speed up, and it would eventually crash into the Sun and we'd all be destroyed. Similarly, if somehow the Earth was to speed up, Right? then the force of momentum, because the higher the speed, the more momentum it has, would overcome this force of gravity. And the Earth would get further and further away from the Sun until it escaped the Sun's gravity altogether and escaped orbit from the Sun. So fortunately for us, there's a really good balance. And, and so I want you to remember that it's a balance between the momentum of the Earth and the pull of the Sun's gravity, which keeps Earth in orbit. 